Hey guys, Diver Don here. I received a package in the mail from Orca Torch. We have a new light to review, a D900V. It's not yet available in the States. It's going to be available very soon. But I have an early, uh, an early edition for you to look at. So let's just get into it. Like my D620, it came in a nice hard shell case, which is nice for storage and for transport. It has a unique charging system. We'll go over that in a moment. Uh, also in the case, I received an Allen key to install the ball mount, which I already done. Some extra O-rings, which are nice for future use. The gray band, in case you don't like the orange band. And of course your literature, which includes the manufacturer's warranty. It includes your owner's manual. You should read that, guys. And then, I really like this, it included a little brochure showing the other offerings. And there's my D620. I really like that light. This one reminds me a lot of it. Let's go over the light features. It also has the high quality salt water corrosion resistant finish. The charging system I mentioned earlier is unique in that if you need to charge the battery, there you go. It's magnetically mounted. You just pop it in place. There's an LED on here which you plug in the wall and it's green, you know it's charged. Now onto the light itself. The battery and the light head are two separate parts. You don't have to open it up very often but occasionally you might want to do so to um, lubricate the o-ring and inspect it. Make sure there's no fibers caught in there. Make sure it's in good condition. I'm going to shut it here and when I do it's going to turn on. That way you know it's completely closed and ready to go. There you go. That's the low setting. So let's talk about the settings. I'm going to shut it off real quick. So on the front you see we have a total of nine LEDs. The four little ones on the top are your colored LEDs which are controlled by this titanium alloy switch on the left. You have ultraviolet LEDs as well as red LEDs. And then the four larger ones in the middle are your wide angle ultra white LEDs which are your video light LEDs. They broadcast at a 120 degree angle and give you the 2200 lumen setting. At 2200 at its high setting you'll get about 2 hours and 45 minutes of battery time. And then the other LED on the bottom here that is a spotlight. It's an 8 degree angle. You have the high setting is 820 and then the low setting is 250 lumens and that'll last 18 hours. More than enough time guys. So in between the two switches you see some LEDs. Press it for a second here. The green one tells you that the battery is charged. It'll stay green until you go about 30 percent battery. Uh, below that it'll turn red and then when it gets into uh, when it starts blinking you're less than 10 percent battery it's time to get out of the water or find some other means of illumination pressing it one more time and now that's our ultraviolet setting okay, we'll turn that off now on the the other side here uh, this button controls our white leds when i first turn it on it's going to go into the really high power setting uh, press it again those four LEDs will go down to 600 lumens and that will last 4 hours and 20 minutes. Press it once more, we're in our spot mode, 820 lumens. Once more, we're in our low power setting of 250 lumens and again, 18 hours of use. Plenty of battery there. So, my thoughts? Well, I really like the light. It's compact yet extremely powerful. It includes everything you need right out of the box to get it in the water if you have a um, you know a ball mount system um, I didn't so I opted to get with it a new camera tray from Orca Torch which is really nice the left and the right handles there um, also I, I got a few of these little adapters so I can mount the system we're gonna take it in the lake I'm gonna do another review an in water review and show you how well it has done um, I really think this is going to be an excellent system, guys. 
D900V unboxing brand new Orca Torch light. Now Diver Don has one. We're going to take it in the water. I'm going to do some more video, of course, with it. I'm going to upload some more videos and I'll let you know when I do. Um, I'll link my previous light video at the end and there's going to be some more information in the comment section down below in the show notes. You're going to be able to find the manufacturer's brochure um, in case you want to research some of these things yourself along with some other reviews that uh, have been done on this light. With that guys, thanks for watching. As always, dive safe.